hiki ni kipindi cha Vuka Jordan kinacholetwa kwako na mtumishi wa Mungu askofu mkuu wa makanisa ya Grace Evangelical Church of Tanzania askofu Elibariki Sumbe akikuletea mafundisho ya neno la Mungu naombi unabii kufunguliwa shuhuda maombezi na injili iliyojaa nguvu za Mungu ishara na uponyaji kutakia kila laheri kutakia baraka za Bwana the blessing of the lord neema ya Mungu iwe pamoja na wewe yote ni katika kipindi cha Vuka Yordani karibu tumwabudu Mungu pamoja ili ujengwe kiroho kama unaandika andika kufunguliwa kutokana na vifungo vya laana if you're writing down write to be delivered from the bind of curses tutaongelea pia juu ya aina kune za laana and we gonna talk about uh, four types of curses laana hizi zinamfuatilia mwanadamu because this follows on a humans kuna laana ya vizazi namba moja. there is the curse of generation that's number one. namba mbili kuna number... laana inayotokana na maadui number two is a curse that comes from enemies or causes by, by enemies. Number 3, laana ya watumishi wa madhabahuni. Number 3, the curse by the servants that serves on the altars. Na namba 4, laana ya Mungu. And number 4, the curse of God. Mambo haya ya Mungu anayafunua kwa sababu ni wakati umefika wa watu wa Mungu kufunguliwa kutokana na kila kizuizi chochote kilichokuwa cha laana kwao. And this thing God revealed them because the time have come for the people of God to be re, to be set free from whatever that was blocking them. Kitabu cha kutoka sura ya 20. The book of Exodus chapter 20. Msari ule wa kwanza paka wa 6 tutaanzia hapo. Verse 1 to 6. We're going to start there. Na tutaanza kuongelea laana ya kwanza ambayo ni laana ya vizazi. And we're going to f- begin with the first curse that is the curse of generation. Biblia nasema Mungu akanena maneno haya yote akasema Mimi ni Bwana Mungu wako nilie kutoa katika nchi ya Misri katika nyumba ya utumwa usiwe na miungu mingine ila mimi Usijifanyie sanamu ya kuchonga wala mfano wa kitu chochote kilichoko juu mbinguni wala kilicho chini duniani wala kilicho majini chini ya dunia Usivisujudie wala kuvitumikia kwa kuwa mimi Bwana Mungu wako ni Mungu mwenye wivu na wapatiliza wana maovu ya baba zao hata kizazi cha tatu na cha nne cha wanichukiao nami na warehemu maelfu elfu wanipendao na kuzishika amri zangu Bwana asifiwe Amen Kwa hiyo laana inakwenda kizazi kwenda kizazi so, tunaenda sawa cast goes from generation to generation i hope we are together lakini angalia mstari ule wa mwisho pale anasema hivi mstari ule wa sita anasema mimi maana ya Mungu na warehemu maelfu kwa maelfu wanipendao na kuzishika amri zao maadamu akiwafundisha wakaelewa Mungu anaweza akawarehemu hata kama wametoka kwenye kizazi chenye laana but look on this face he say he's merciful to the generation that loves him and hold his commandment it doesn't matter where they come from but he's merciful amina amen watu wanapoanza namba moja laana ya vizazi so as we start number one, the curse of generation hii ni laana ambayo imekuwa ikifuatilia familia this is a curse that follows on the families ambayo ilisababishwa wakati mwingine na wazazi kuwalaani watoto wao that it was caused by the parents cursing their children kwa kuwatamkia maneno magumu ya laana maishani mwao by uttering bad and heavy words of curse on their lives kizazi kinaanza kikiwa na familia generation starts from the families 
Familia ndiye inakuja kutoa vizazi. Is a family that after gives the generation. Ni sawa si sawa? Is that okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chanzo cha kizazi, chanzo cha ukoo inaanzaga na familia. The source of a generation or clan it begins from a family. Namaona Abraham Mungu alipoanzisha taifa kupitia yeye ilikuwa ni familia ya mtu na mke. Lakini angalia leo Israeli ni kwa sababu imetokana na Abraham. We see Abraham it was just a man and a wife that God from then he, he developed it to become a nation of Israelites today. Kwa hiyo inapoanza familia So once a family starts Unakuta adui anaweza kasababisha ile laana iingie kwenye familia alafu kutoka familia kwa sababu itazana kutoka hapo itaanza hiyo laana kufuatilia ile familia kwenda kizazi kingine kwenda kizazi kingine We find from a family devil can cause a situation that gonna bring a curse on the family and because he knows from a one person is gonna be another person so it's gonna go with that generation Kwa wazazi wale watamkia watoto wao maneno mabaya So once the parents were speaking bad words to, against their children Laana huanzia hapo cast starts from then Lana ni mlango ama ni roho inayoruhusiwa kutokufanikisha kizazi kile ama watu wale Cast is a door or an power that is given authority to block these people to do not be prosper Mambolezo sura ya 5 na ule msari wa 7 Lamentation chapter 5 verse 7 Biblia inaandika na sema hivi The Bible writes and says Baba zetu walitenda dhambi hata wako. Our father sins and they no more. Manake wamekufa. That means they already dead. Manake wamepita. That means they've passed. Wamebaki watoto wao. It's only the children that are remaining. Uzao wao uko duniani. The generation is in the earth. baba zetu walitenda dhambi nao hawako. That's why he say our father have sins and they no more. Na sisi manake wa watoto wao. Sisi tunayachukua maovu yao. We bear the punishment of our fathers. Mungu atusaidie. May God help us. Matokeo ya laana waliokosea watoto au wazazi yanakuja kwa watoto. The result of the how the parents acted it goes to the children. The curse goes to the children. Mstari huu kiendelea kusoma ule mstari wa 8 wa 9 wa 10 unaona matokeo ya hiyo laana inayotafuna kile kizazi ambacho kinasema wao wamebeba maovu yao. If you keep on reading deep down you're going to understand how the children have been they have been bearing the curse of their fathers. Kwa maana sema watumwa wanatutawala. That's why they say slaves are Reign over us. Hakuna mtu wa kutoa na mikono yao. There is no one to save us from their hands. Tuapata chakula kwa kujihatarisha nafsi zetu. We have meal by sacrificing our lives. Ukiendelea kusoma mpaka mstari wa 15 unakuta ni shida tupu kwenye kile kizazi. If you keep on reading to verse 15 you're going to understand is only tragedy to that generation. Lakini unakuta waliokosea ni wazazi wao. But you find the one that did wrong it was the parents. Na laana kaanza kwenye hiyo kizazi kwenda kizazi. And the curse started then to follow the generation. Mungu atusaidie. May God help us. Na unapojua kama kwenu kuna laana gani au iliwahi kuwa laana gani? And once you understand what a curse goes on in your family, maana kuna wengine waliua watu kwa siri. Some of them they killed people secretly. Kwa hiyo laana ikaingia kwenye kizazi chao. So curse entered in their family or generation. Mungu anafunua mambo haya. God reveal these things. Lengo lake ili watu wake wawe salama. The purpose of God is for his people to be safe. Ukiwa na laana, once you are cursed, hata kama tunamjua Mungu kuwa bwana na mokozi wa maisha yetu tumenunuliwa kwa damu ya Yesu. Even if we know the Lord Jesus to be our savior, we have been bought by his blood. Mpaka ufunguliwe kwa uongozi wa Mungu ndipo takasa hii roho yako na utumishi wako na baraka zako. Is until you be delivered by the instruction of God is then you gonna be safe. Maana laana inazuiaga mafanikio ya mtu ndio maana inatamkwa katika mwili. Because curse blocks the blessing of people that's why it's uh, spoken physically. Unaweza kafanikiwa kiroho. You may be prospered spiritual. Na Mungu akatembea na wewe. And God walk with you. Lakini kimaisha ukabaki maskini na, na kizazi chako. But in life you remain poor with your generation. Kwa sababu kuna halali fulani uliotamkwa kwako au kwenu. Because there is a legal right that is uh, over you in your from your family. Na watu wa aina hii. And this type of people. Ambao wanajijua wanaweza wakawa na laana ya kizazi ama ya familia that they may know or understand themselves that they have the curse from their generation Mungu or the family anataka hapo ingie maombi ya siku tatu they should take three days of prayer kutubu na kuomba rehema na kujitenga na hiyo lana to repent ask mercy and separate themselves from that curse ndipo kizazi chao hakitaendelea tena na hiyo lana is then their generation won't be kept on followed followed by the curse na pia kuna watu waliotamkiwa kwa maneno mabaya 
And also there are some people that were uttered evil words. Iwe na wazazi maybe with parents ama ametamkiwa na mtu mwingine wa karibu maneno mabaya or some uh, part of people you know just uttered bad words au maneno magumu or heavy words wataingia pia maombi they also gonna take prayers kwa kuomba rehema kwa Mungu to ask mercy from god na kujitenga na lana ya maneno hayo waliotamkiwa and to dis- uh, disconnect themselves from the curse of the words that were uttered over maana them maana pia lana ilipata nafasi baada ya kutamkiwa maneno magumu na watu because also to them the curse got opportunity after being uttered evil words wakati Mungu ananifundisha mambo haya when god was teaching the man of god these things Mungu aliniambia neno hili na kaniandika na nikanuku hapa god gave him this word he, he wrote it down akaniambia nitalipa ponya taifa na dunia he say oh heal the nation and and the world pale watakapojua chanzo cha laana zao once they understand the source of their curse kwamba laana zao zilianzia wapi that's where the curse started from wewe ndio unayejua kizazi chako kazi yake ni kukukumbusha na kufunua mambo ambayo ukishaelewa ukija kukaa mbele zake kuongozi wake Mungu ndipo hatima yako inapokwenda kutokea na wewe unakuwa msaada wa ndugu zako na watu wengine kutoka kwenye hiyo laana The the work of God is to review and explain things on how they happen. Once he explains is your work to understand the curse that is going on in your family and you take time to pray before God and you help the generation afterwards. Maana wako wengi ambao wamejengea laana misingi sana katika maisha yao. Because some of them they put a foundation of the curse in their life. Na ikaimarishwa sana, yani imeimarishwa sana hiyo misingi ya laana. And the foundation of the curse were made stronger in the families. Lakini kwa sababu hawakuingia toba hiyo lane kaendelea kuwatafuna na matoke yake unakuta watu wanagombana wao kwa wao wanapigana wao wao, wao wanafanyana mabaya wao wao, wao wanawana wao wenyewe wenyewe lakini lana haitaondoka kwa sababu hakuna aliyeshughulikia hiyo lana and because there was no one stone to repent before god the, the curse have been eating the generation so they find themselves fighting one another uh, uttering bad words one another killing each other because of the curse lakini kumbuka mungu ndio anayefungua juu ya lana but remember is god who review about their curse going to deliver us hata kama umefungwa kiasi gani ukishaelewa juu ya mungu ndio mwenye kufungua lana it doesn't matter to what level you're bound once you understand is god going to deliver us takapotambua chanzo cha laana yenu na historia ya familia yenu ndipo kutoka kwako Once you understand the source of the curse uh, where it comes from your generation that will be your way out Laana huwa inazuia mafanikio ya watu Curse blocks the prosperity of people Watu wengi wamekufa kabla wakati na wakaenda mbinguni lakini wakaacha malango katika maisha yao ambayo Mungu alitaka na hakuna atakayeweza kuwazuia kwa sababu laana ile ina uhalali ya kuja kuondoa katika maisha yao duniani Most people died before their time then they went to heaven but there is nobody to block the interest or the curse that's gonna keep on killing his generation. Biblia nasema katika kitabu cha Ayubu 38 na ule mstari wa 11 17:21 inasema maneno haya. Nikasema utafika mpaka hapa lakini hautapita na hapa mawimbi yako yanyetayo yatazuiliwa. He say you come to this far but you won't cross and your slowly moving wheels gonna be stopped. Kazi ya laana ni kukuzuia usifike kwenye hatima yako. The work of curse is to block you to not reach to your destiny. Na inatafuta kumkosesha mtu mmoja kutamkia maneno mabaya kama ni mzazi yeyote wa kike wa kiume au anatamkiwa kijana au wa kike wa kiume anapotamkiwa hiyo laana na wao wale watoto wanaharibika kama haijashughulikiwa itakwenda kizazi kwenda kizazi ikiwa na matatizo hayo maana shetani amepata mlango wa kuingia kwenye hiyo familia the devil gonna just do everything to mislead somebody to speak curse either in a young woman or young man and after that that curse gonna follow generation to generation biblia naposema hakuna lana kwao walio katika kristo yesu when the bible say there is no curse to the ones that are in christ jesus ina maanisha nini kwa ufupi what does it mean shortly na maana ukiokoka lana zimeondoka does it mean once you give your life to christ Kumbuka, the curse have been lifted biblia nasema mimi ni mungu nikufundishaye ili upate faida ni kuongozaye katika nje kupasayo kuiendea. Remember the Bible say God says I'm the Lord that teach you to have benefits to lead you to the right way. Ina maana kama kuna lana inayokufuata. That means if there is any curse that is following you. Mungu atakuagiza kama alivyowaagiza wanafunzi wake pale ye wakati alipofufuka anaambia nendeni mkahubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe. Yeye aaminie na kubatizwa ataokoka. Na kisha sema mkawafundishe kuyashika yote nitakayowaamuru. 
God gonna lead you like he, Jesus leads his disciples when he was going back to heaven. He say, go and preach the word to the whole world and whoever gonna believe Laana kama amemshika mtu Mungu anachofanya anakufundisha kwa neno lake kuelewa ukishaelewa ndipo unafungua moyo wako unasema hii kitu ni kweli sikitaki ndipo nguvu yake inashuka inaposhuka anakufungua na kukutenganisha na laana akishakufungua kukutenganisha na laana ndipo unaposoma huo msari anasema hakuna laana walio ndani ya Kristo Yesu Once you're cast and God gonna come by his words and teach you when you understand you say this thing is is bad I don't want it is then the power of God gonna come and deliver you and then after that you're gonna read that verse that says there is no curse to the ones that believe in Jesus Christ Mimi nataka kuambia shetani atawaachilia hata ulioko hapa wale walio toka mbali wale wanaotofuatilia kwa mtandao kwenye taifa lolote utaachiliwa na shetani atapata hasara kubwa sana maana laana letamka miaka mingi Mungu atakwenda kuiondoa. Hallelujah. The man of God is telling us that we're going to be delivered and the devil going to stay away. The ones are following us on social media. It doesn't matter how far you are because they've been uttering bad words and curse for many many years, but this is a time of the Lord to deliver us. Kila lana, every curse, ambayo ilipata halali, that has legality. Iyo roho ya kulogwa. The spirit of bewitched. Roho ya kulogwa. The spirit of bewitchment. Ambayo amesababisha laana katika maisha yako. That was caused curse in your Mana life. aliyefungwa na laana hawezi kujifungua isipokuwa yule aliyompa mamlaka ya kufungua Bwana. Because the one who is cursed will not be able to unbound himself except the one that you have given authority to abound. Kila aliyefungwa na laana ya maneno magumu. Everyone that is bound with the pronounced evil words. Kila aliyefungwa na laana ya maagenti. Everyone that is cursed by the curse of their agents. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai. Nami naiamuru hiyo laana. Now I command you curse. Maana sana wakati ndio huu. Because the time is here. Ambao Mungu amekusudia kuwakomboa watoto wako. That God you want to deliver your children. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ's name. Laana ya mauti. Deadly curse. Nasema na laana ya mauti kwenye boma lenu. I speak to deadly curse. Laana ya mauti ambayo inasababishwa na magonjwa kwenye boma lenu. Deadly curse that is caused by sickness in your homes. Nasema na laana ya mauti ambayo iko kwenye boma lenu. I speak about the deadly curse that is in your home. Laana ya kuonewa the oppressed curse, the curse of oppression. haki zenu. The curse of not getting what La you really want. Laana ya kuteswa. Curse of persecution. Nasema juu ya laana. I speak about curses. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai. The authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shetani uliosababisha kushika uzao huu, kushika familia hii na kuamuru sasa achilia watu hawa. Devil that you have caused to bound this family to found these children, I command you now to release these families. Kuna watu wengine wanatumiwa na shetani hata hawakupenda watumiwa na shetani wanajikuta ulimwengu wao wa roho wamekamatwa hata wakijaribu kukataa naambiwa tulisha kukamata Bwana ananiambia wafungua watu hawa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wale hai wao yes. waliokamatwa na majini waliokamatwa na maagenti waliokamatwa na wachawi waliokamatwa na waganga nina kuamuru wachilia mtu huyu na hilo jini jini makata There are so many people that are used by demons and they do not want to be used by demons but you can see that you're used by demons because of the things that you're doing by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ I command you devil I command you to release these people get out of them right now Mauti death Ninaona msalaba kila wakati familia yenu inakufa uko wenu nakufa unazika leo kesho mtaenda huku kesho mnaenda huku kesho mna Bwana ananiambia kwa sababu baba zako kuna mtu aliuaga mtu miaka hiyo ya zamani Bwana ananiambia komesha hiyo mauti I see a cross because in your family you're you're burying this one today in a few uh, weeks you're burying another one God is telling me in your family there's one who has killed someone so God is telling me to see Bwana na komesha hiyo mauti Sees the death Hawa mauti kwenye hilo poma That death in that in, in that family in that home Ninaona misalaba ya watu waliozikwa 
anawekwa msalaba naona msalaba lakini unakuta huyu ni wako huu huyu wana karibu hii ni jamii hii na hiyo roho imewekwa alama kwenye ulimwengu wa roho kwa sababu ya mababu hawa roho ya mauti the speech of death i see crosses there is a lot of graves i see yes. crosses because people have been branded this name and this other name bwana anakukamea wa mauti kwenye hiyo familia god is rebuking the spirit of death in this family bwana anakupinga wa roho ya mauti kwenye hiyo familia god is against you the spirit of death in this family in the mighty name of jesus kwa jina kuu la yesu kristo hadi ninavyoomba naona hiyo msalaba inaanza kufutika inaanza kufutika bwana anambia angalia angalia watoto wangu walioachiliwa lana ya kifo watu wamekufa wasio na hatia kwa sababu wengine wamelogwa tu kwa sababu ya wivu kwa sababu ya chuki kwa sababu ya mashamba hawa lana ya mauti i see those uh, crosses disappearing and god is telling me look at my children i'm intervening on the spirit of death that the people were suffering and they die but god has intervened Jesus. Yesu. Nakutanga na hiyo mauti. I separate you from the death. Hakuna kifo tena kwenye hiyo familia. There is no death in that family again. Ya tocha. It's enough. Majini achilia watu famu zao. Demons release the people's mindsets. Majini mliotumwa na waamuru gauka ondoka juu ya watu hawa. The demons that you send, I command you turn back and leave. Na funga mlango wa kuzimu juu ya familia hii. I close the door from hell over this family. Achilia familia hii. Release these families. Achilia ngongo huyu mtu. Release the back of this person. Jesus. Yesu. Lana ya kuachika kwenye ndoa. The curse of being separated in your in your marriage. The might of Jesus. Kwa jina kuu la Yesu. Kila silaha every weapon that was sent by the enemy to be with you kila silaha every weapon that was sent by the angels to curse you to be with you i destroy those weapons i destroy those demons i destroy the death in jesus name kuna baadhi ya watu wamelishwa vitu vya kufisha kwenye matumbo kama tumbo yako ina shida mda mrefu shika na tumbo lako wakati tunapoomba bwana anambia kama ana hii lana waliolishwa some people they were fed unclean foods if you're suffering on your stomach god is instructing the man of god to rebuke that spirit because you ate unclean food ninaona roho ambayo imegeuka kuwa nyoka kwenye tumbo lako I see a spirit that has turned to become a snake in your stomach. Inazunguka kwenye tumbo lako. It turns in your stomach. Ewa nyoka. You snake. Wewe nyoka wa kiroho. You serpent the spiritual. Unyoka kwenye tumbo. Yes. You are sitting in this people's stomach. Kae kachilia binti huyo. Disappear and leave this girl. Kae kachilia huyo mtu. Disappear and leave this man. Wewe nyoka. You serpent. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Unyoshika uzao wa watu wao. That you have But you are bound this uh, generation this God is rebuking you Upanga wa Mungu uko juu yako The sword of God is upon you Upanga wa Mungu atakatifu uko juu yako The sword of the Holy Spirit is upon you In Jesus name Nakutakasa na kufungua fahamu yako katika jina la Yesu I cleanse and open your mind said in Jesus name Nakutakasa na kufungua fahamu yako katika jina la Yesu Open your mind said in Jesus name Watu wengi wamepitishiwa magonjwa. There's a lot of people that their sickness are upon them. Yamepitia kwenye fahamu zao. They came through your mindset. Baada kuachiliwa kitu ambacho kila wakati kilikuwa kinazunguka kwenye ufahamu wako kwenye kumbukumbu yako. Something was sent it goes around your memory, it goes around your mindset. Na kutakaso fahamu yako. I purify your mindset. Na ile njia ya maadui waliopitia ya kiroho kushika fahamu yako kisha kuachilia magonjwa na kutenga na hiyo roho. And the way that the witch the witch doctors and the agents have used to capture your mindset and your understanding and confuse you I rebuke you and I separate you from that spirit. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Jina lako. Your name. Your name is Jackson Poland. Tangia mwaka 2012. 2011 alikuwa form 3 nikaachia form 3. 2012 nikaanza kuchanganyikiwa. Ukaanza kuchanganyikiwa. Eh tarehe 3 mwezi huu nilichanganyikiwa tena. Najiona niko kuzimu saa nyingine niko duniani. Najiona niko na wachungaji wa kawaida. Najiona niko na wachungaji wa kuzimu. Lakini leo hii nimekuja na kakaangu leo. Nilikuwa nachanganyikiwa tangia asubuhi lakini nilipofika mahali hapa 
nimeona ufahamu wangu umerudi na kuanzia leo mimi simtao mwakeni glory to god we give god all the praise and glory this young girl has been um, suffering from the spirit of confusion since 2013 she's been suffering when she was uh, she started when she was for in form 3 but uh, when she came here she can feel that she has received the breath when she's delivered umekuja na nani nimekuja na kaka na mama hebu muite kaka aje huyu ni mdogo wako ndio alichosema alikuwa kichaa na nini tangu akiwa shule ndio ni kweli maneno hayo ni kweli hata wiki iliyopita alikuwa sauti alichukuliwa usa kule akiwa na mdondosha mtoto wa mtu kwenye korongo kichwa kimechanganya baadaye ndio nikapigiwa simu lakini ndugu zangu akaenda kumchukua tayari amechanganyikiwa eh anakuja nyumbani anatukana vibaya sana amtukana mama yake tukana kila mtu mama huyu ni mtoto wako eh ni watoto wangu wote kijana wako anasema mtoto wako alipochanganyikiwa anakuja nyumbani anakutukana eh yeye yeah, alikuwa anatukana matusi makubwa sana ulimkosea nini hata sikumkosea kitu anainuka tu kukutukana eh yeah, anaendelea tu kunitukana ni mtoto leo mzaa juzi tu eh yeah. The mother is confirming. Una well. wakati nafundisha. You see the way how bad the crosses are when I was teaching. Do you remember when I was teaching? Wakati wamesikia kitu ambacho Mungu alinisaidia kufundisha. How many people understand what God has helped me to teach? Mungu akitaka kukufungua lazima akufundishe kwanza. When God wants to for you to receive your breakthrough he has to teach you first. Sasa angalia ukishamtukana mama yako si nilana. When you insult your mother it's a cross. Hata kama nyumbani kwenu waliinuka namna hii elewa hiyo ni laana na wanataka wewe ukichukia mama akichukia baba akichukia mtoto aliyechanganywa kama huyu aliyologwa namna hii basi matoke yake anafanyaje laana inabaki kwenye ile mji kwa sababu nilisema kwa sababu hakuna mtu aliyegeuka kutubu Mathayo 15 na ule mstari wa 4 sante sana kwa kuwa bwana alisema mheshimu baba yako na mama yako na mtukanae babaye na mamaye kufa na afe sasa ukilogwa na maagenti sibia tunasema enyi wa galatia nani amewaloga nikasema kuna kulogwa ukilogwa target yao wanataka endelevu wakikamata mtu kama huyu atamtukana mzazi atatukana hivi akifanya mzazi atakuja kukasirika naye atanena neno gumu inakuwa laana na simama akikosekana mtu wa kwenda kutubu hata kama mnaenda kanisani siku mtakufa haraka na mbinguni mtakwenda lakini hiyo laana itaondoa duniani haraka na itakaa kizazi kwenda kwa sababu ina halali. Sasa binti yako anasema amekuja hapa, hmm. usikie kitu alichosema. Yeye Ana... nimesikia. Amesema ameponywa. Ndiyo. Eh? Ndiyo. Hebu tuambie, ulikuwa unaenda wapi? Wakati ukikutwa na hali hiyo nini inatokea kwako? Nakutana naenda kuzimu. Unaenda kuzimu? Ndiyo. Na unajuaje hiyo ni kuzimu? Naona kama babu zangu waliokufa na kuwa nao, naona mapembe ya Freemason kati naomba nini okay. imetokea nime yani ufahamu wangu umerudi umejielewa umerudi ndio <laughs> she confirms that her understanding is back no melewa yale uliokuwa nafanya huko ni mambo mabaya ndio you understand what you were doing was bad unakumbuka alikuwa naomba naomba na ufahamu na tubu naomba na ufahamu hautatukanwa tena huyo ni adui walipata nafasi ya kumkamata hautatukanwa tena mama you will not be insulted anymore that was the enemy had a chance in your daughter you will not be imekuwa kama fedheha kwenye nyumba yenu na itatokea binti yenu ataendelea na Mungu atambariki amen it will not happen again it became like a shame but now it's not going to happen again god god has delivered your sister ndoa mateso na maumivu ya joka kwenye mioyo yao tight persecution suffering and the pain that is in their hearts amen amen mkumbatie mtoto wako mami have your daughter mkumbatie mama mkumbatie family glory to god clap for jesus clap for jesus we give god all the glory for this deliverance ndani kwa mama 